we are going to the chapter rotational motion the next part of the next article is the well of death from already made mrutyu ka hua mrutyu chi vidhit asa manta echa made par there is the question of the centripetal force or the centrifugal force the centripetal force mv square upon r or centripetal force is equal to mr omega square same is the formula for the centrifugal force now in the well of data in the cylindrical shape like this one this is the cylindrical shape now the motor cyclist is driving his motor cycle along the horizontal circle along the horizontal circle not the vertical circle in the next part we are going to the vertical circular motion in that the motor cyclist is driving in the vertical circle here we are going to consider the horizontal circle along the horizontal circle now suppose the motor cyclist is at this point he is driving along the horizontal circle in this way now when he is at this point the forces acting on the motor cyclist are the force of friction that is in the upward direction force of friction between the rubber tires and the surface it is fs in the upward direction and the weight of the motor cyclist with the motor cycle is mg in the downward direction these are the two forces then the normal reaction is always always perpendicular to the surface the normal reaction is along this direction the vehicle is performing the circular motion for the circular motion there is a need of the centripetal force centripetal force is supplied by the normal reaction now the motor cyclist get balanced by the force of friction fs that is the forces acting here the three number one is the normal reaction normal reaction is towards the center c second the weight of the vehicle that is weight mg here in the downward direction force due to the friction in the upward direction now the weight get balanced by the force of friction that is mg is equal to fs the normal reaction supplies the necessary centripetal force which get balanced by the centrifugal force n is equal to mv square upon r now we know that mu s is equal to fs upon n mu s is equal to fs upon n that is the coefficient of static friction is equal to fs upon n from this formula here we have taken that fs less than or equal to concentrate on the equal to fs is equal to mu s into n mu s into n but we know that n is equal to mv square upon r here mu s into mv square upon r therefore v square is equal to here we cancelling the m cancelling m a v square is equal to rg upon mu s from this equation v square r is coming to this side mu s in the downward direction that is v square less than or less than or equal to rg upon mu s and therefore v is equal to concentrate of the sign equal to equal to equal to therefore v minimum is equal to square root of rg upon mu s that is the motor cyclist drives the horizontal circle circle with the minimum speed required is equal to square root of rg upon mu s where r is called as the radius of that circle that is radius of that cylinder g is the acceleration due to gravity mu s is the force of friction that is the minimum speed required by the motor cycle cyclist to drive in the horizontal circle remember that that is the horizontal motion not the vertical motion this is also called as the the mouth ka kuwa mrutyu chi vir ase ala mhanta horizontal circle ya tikani ahe nantar apan the death cage mani prakash so sarkash mani vir ya tikani vertical circular motion apan pahana the next part madhe aplyala e त्याच्यानंतर द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल इज कॉल्ड एज द कोनिकल पेंडुलम पेंडुलम इज ए स्पिरिकल बॉब दैट इज द पेंडुलम व्हिच इज सस्पेंडेड बाय द नाउ सपोज दिस वन इज द स्पिरिकल बॉब फॉर एग्जांपल इट इज सस्पेंडेड बाय द मासलेस इनएक्सटेंसिबल स्ट्रिंग 
from the rigid support this is the pendulum of spherical bob suspended by the mass base in extensible string from the rigid support now there are two parts one is part is a simple pendulum in the next chapter we are going through the simple pendulum that is also the experiment for the our 12th science now the simple pendulum it is this way this is called as a simple pendulum the bob is performing the oscillating motion that is called as a simple pendulum now for the simple pendulum the length of the string then the bob comes to this position that is called as the amplitude maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position this is the mean position this one is called as the amplitude now in this case the one oscillation is taken as that suppose the particle moves from this point to come to this point again come to this point that is called as the one oscillation number of oscillations completed in one second that is called as the frequency the time taken by the particle to complete one oscillation that is called as the period t we have seen the formula of the period t t is equal to 2 pi upon omega frequency n is equal to omega upon 2 pi for the conical pendulum we are going to derive the formula for the period of the conical pendulum again look at me this is the simple pendulum this one is the simple pendulum but if i revolve this pendulum in this way that is it is performing the horizontal circle this is called as a conical pendulum this is called as a conical pendulum here this pendulum perform a cone here अपन भेड़े की पुरी मन तो भेड़ अपन घतो या प्रकार शेप हा तैयार हो हा जो कोन है इट इज हैविंग द वर्टिकल एक्सिस एक्सिस भोती इट इज परफॉर्मिंग द हॉरिजेंटल सर्क्युलर मोशन एंड दैट वन इज द कोनिकल पेंडुलम इट इज द स्पिरिकल बॉब सस्पेंडेड बाय द मास लेस इन एक्सटेंसिबल स्ट्रिंग व्हिच इज परफॉर्मिंग द हॉरिजेंटल सर्क्युलर मोशन एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द कोनिकल सिंपल पेंडुलम सॉरी कोनिकल पेंडुलम now i have drawn the diagram here that is for the conical pendulum it is performing the anti clockwise circular motion in this case horizontal circular motion which is in the horizontal horizontal direction here the this is the pendulum at this position here at this point b at the position b the forces acting on the bob are number 1 weight mg yes the vazan hai weight mg it always acts in the vertically downward direction that is mg second tension t along the string this is the direction of the tension t that is taken as a t0 t0 is tension t along the string now if you take this point if you take this point in this case this is the weight weight will be in the downward direction the tension t will be the in the upward direction both get balanced to each other weight get balanced by the tension t but in this case this two does not get balanced that is this is the weight mg this is the tension t along the string that is the, the tension t zero are having the two components this one is called as the semi vertical angle this angle is called as semi vertical angle now l is the length of the string ha to dora hai which length the l hai this one is the semi vertical angle now the tension t zero are having the two components t zero cos theta that is near the angle that is t zero cos theta in front of the angle that is in this direction that is t zero sin theta in the horizontal circular motion for the circular motion there is a need of the centripetal force or it depend it get balanced by the centrifugal force which is along the radius and towards the center in this case we get the component t zero sin theta which is along the radius and towards the center that is the components of the t0 t0 cos theta and t0 sin theta therefore this component t0 cos theta this one is a t0 sin theta the t0 sin theta acts as the centripetal force or get balanced by the centrifugal force centripetal force having the formula 
mv square of on r or mr omega square i take the formula mr omega square therefore t zero sin theta is equal to mr omega square equation number 1 and second t0 cos theta get balanced by the weight mg t0 cos theta is equal to mg equation number 2 now dividing the 2 by 1 dividing the 2 by 1 2 by 1 and therefore this uh, sorry 1 by 2 dividing 1 by 2 dividing 1 by 2 On this side, cancelling the m r omega square upon g is equal to sine theta upon cos theta. Dividing one by two, cancelling m r omega square upon g is equal to sine theta upon cos theta. Therefore, omega square is equal to g sine theta upon r cos theta. G sine theta upon r cos theta. Therefore, here sine theta is equal to look at this triangle. Sine theta is equal to sine theta is equal to here. This is the radius r, radius of this horizontal circle r, r upon r. That is the sine theta. Sine theta is equal to r upon r. Therefore, r is equal to r sine theta. Here, write down sine theta is equal to r sine theta. Sorry. R is equal to y sine theta. R is equal to y sine theta. Cancelling the sine theta, it remains omega square is equal to g upon y cos theta. Therefore, omega is equal to root of g upon y cos theta. We want the period of the conical pendulum. That is, period T is equal to two pi upon omega. Two pi upon omega. Therefore, t is equal to two pi upon omega. Therefore, square root of l cos theta upon g. This is the formula for the period of the conical pendulum. That is the time taken by the conical pendulum to complete one oscillation. It is equal to two pi root l. L means length of the pendulum. Cos theta theta is called as the semi-vertical angle. G is called as the acceleration due to gravity. If we want the frequency, you know that the relation between the frequency and the period t t is equal to one upon n. N is equal to one upon t. N is equal to one upon t. And therefore, n is equal to one upon two pi. Square root of g upon l cos theta. The equation shows that the frequency of the conical pendulum depends on number one, the length of the conical pendulum. Second, the semi-vertical angle theta. Length of the conical pendulum and the semi-vertical angle at the place g is taken as the constant, pi is constant. Therefore, frequency depends on the length and the semi-vertical angle. Second, it depend independent of the in this formula of the period t or the formula of the frequency. There is no term in small m that is the mass of the pendulum, mass of the spherical bob. Therefore, this frequency or the period t. Independent of the mass m, this is the derivation for the conical pendulum. There are two terms: simple pendulum. The second is the conical pendulum. I have shown that the simple pendulum means this. We observe the swing in our house. Tell us on choka mantu. That is the simple pendulum. But if if it if it is revolved in the horizontal circle. Then that is called as the conical pendulum. In the next part, we will derive the formula for the period of the simple pendulum. For the period of the simple pendulum, the period t is equal to two pi. In the case of the simple pendulum, this pendulum, g is equal to sorry, theta is equal to zero, cos zero is equal to one. Therefore, the formula for the period of the simple pendulum. T is equal to two pi root of L upon G. That is for the simple pendulum. This is for the conical pendulum. Semi vertical angle means the half angle. That is the two pi root of L cos theta upon G. These are the two derivations. 
Now again here in this derivation also we observe the centripetal force. In this also we take the centripetal force or centripetal force mv square upon r or mr omega square. In this we use the in the first derivation we use the mv square upon r mv square upon r. In the second derivation we use the mr omega square because we want the period t. Period t is equal to 2 pi upon omega. We want omega. And therefore we take the mr omega square. Here the veil of death of the water cyclist is a driving his motorcycle along the horizontal circle along the horizontal circle inside the cylinder of the radius r of the radius r at this position the forces acting on the vehicle number one the normal reaction normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface this is this one second the weight of the vehicle that is mg in the downward direction third the force of friction between the rubber tires sorry rubber tires and the surface that is in the upward direction that is this friction balances the weight mg otherwise the vehicle will drop down this friction balances the vehicle here at this position now here therefore the weight get balanced by the force of friction get balanced by the weight mg mg is equal to fs then the normal reaction is inside that is along the radius towards the center which acts as the centripetal force therefore n is equal to mv square upon r now we know that mu s is equal to fs upon n therefore fs is equal to mu s into n therefore if mu s into n greater than fs greater than fs we take it is greater than or equal to fs but we know that n is equal to mv square upon r in this v square is equal to v square equal to or less than rg upon v s therefore v minimum minimum speed required by the motor cyclist to drive along the horizontal circle inside the inside the wheel that is equal to root of rg upon mu s that is the first derivation second is the conical pendulum a spherical bob suspended by the weight less in extensible string from a rigid support which is revolved in the horizontal circle forming a cone like structure cone like structure cone means upon bhed pudi manto tasa yacha akar tayar hoto ya thikani we have drawn this diagram this is the length of the conical pendulum here. Now we are at this position, it is performing anti-clockwise motion, the forces acting on this conical pendulum. That is the number one weight mg always weight at in the downward direction. Second, the tension T0 along the string, tension in the string, it is upward direction T0. The tension T arriving the two components that is the T0 cos theta, T0 sin theta. The T0 cos theta get balanced by the weight mg. T0 cos theta get balanced by the weight mg here. The word T0 cos theta get balanced by the word equal to mg. Equation number 2 and T0 sin theta acts as a centripetal force or get, get balanced by the centripetal force. T0 sin theta mr omega square dividing the 1 by 2, 1 by 2, T0, T0 cancel, sin theta upon cos theta, m, n cancel, r omega square upon g, therefore omega square is equal to, omega square is equal to g come to this position, r come to this position, omega square is equal to g sin theta upon r cos theta, therefore omega square is equal to now what uh, sin theta is equal to from this diagram sin theta is equal to r upon l this is the radius sin theta that is this side upon this side r upon l r is equal to l sin theta take here l sin theta cancelling sin theta remains omega square is equal to g upon l cos theta therefore omega is equal to root of g upon l cos theta we know that period t is equal to 2 pi upon omega therefore period of the conical pendulum t is equal to 2 pi root of 
L cos theta upon G. This is the period of the conical pendulum. If we want the frequency of the conical pendulum, then n is equal to one upon d. N is equal to one upon d. N is equal to one upon two pi root of G upon L cos theta. This is the formula for the frequency of the conical pendulum. This is the formula for the period of the conical pendulum. Both these formulae shows that the frequency of the period depends on number one, the length of the conical pendulum length L, the second the semi vertical angle, and it is independent of as there is no term in M. There is no term in M in this equation. In this equation, therefore, it is independent of the mass M. This is for the conical pendulum. Thank you.